Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to be showing you a little tour of a new Minecraft server that we're playing on. It is, um, I'm actually calling this one Project Arthelos because Arthelos is going to be the kingdom that we eventually make. What you're seeing here is my little starter house. We're kind of, we're kind of, we're not deep, deep into it. We haven't fought the Ender Dragon or anything. We have killed a Wither. We got a beacon. We actually got a few beacons. I am going to show you a little tour of what the outpost looks like. I haven't got anything planted in this thing yet, so don't, you know, don't judge this. Um, got Austin's house right there. Uh, my wife also actually plays on the server. It's going to be a group effort kind of deal. Uh, there's not going to be any shops or any... Oh, I'm going to go back in the house to sleep real quick. There's not going to be any shops. It's not going to be an SMP server. It's literally just going to be us. That's the Iron Farm too that I will show you momentarily. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's a torch. I thought that... Golems tend to get stuck in it. Alright. This ain't going to be an SMP server or anything. It's going to be, you know, us just helping each other out. Not selling really anything. Sometimes, um, if we make, make trades, that'll be fine. But, uh, other than that, here's a little, uh, easy composter farm. Which is super easy that I put some things in because I ran out of space, so ignore that. Uh, I gotta move these because I was working on these earlier. I might actually, yeah, I'm gonna probably move that like closer to that. The iron farm up here. Let me go up there. So you guys, this is if you're looking to find an iron farm to make. This one is a really good and easy one. It was kind of stressful getting the villagers up there because of how high it is up here. So I had to run multiple uh, rail carts like off that mountain over there. That was easiest because we got a little villager breeder thing over there. But yeah, it gives us pretty good rates. Um, I got signs in there because I had to repair it because the golems tend to get stuck in it. Uh, I think what the problem was is the transparent glass blocks they like to slide into and also the current isn't strong enough really it could be a little bit bigger probably the current's not strong enough right there and they kind of get stuck right there right before they fall in there and it was kind of ruining the rates sometimes because it wouldn't happen too crazy often but it would happen and it is a known issue i don't know what that is uh I don't know what that is at all, actually. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to see what that was, what that was from. Like I said, this is Austin's little house. I want to show you. Oh, that little wandering trader over there. I'm going to show you guys. Um, this I didn't think was enough, so I made two little things of it. So that's, that's working. This is all just temporary too. This is just pretty much our starting outpost. We're gonna find somewhere off in the distance. We actually might change this into the start of our kingdom because I really like, I really like how it's kind of in a cove. I do, I do. But that's gonna be between all the people that are playing because they're gonna be putting in a lot of time in it too. So we're just gonna have to get together and ask them. This is my wife's beautiful little starter home. She did all the landscaping herself. I helped her a little bit with the roof, but other than that, the house is built by her. So she's got her whole little thing right there. It's super adorable. She's got her beacon. I don't know why it's not low. Oh no, there it is. It just bugged out because I just got the I just got the beacon buff. This was I actually have a few videos, a video of this of us building this thing. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get in the cart. Get in the cart. Get in the cart. Get in the cart. Yes! Hey! Hey! <laughs> uh, it's not anything fancy. It's literally just... Oh, there they are. And this is where I kind of breed them at. Just like, throw them bread through here. And then I'll I break open this. And then I have a slab. See right here, so I kind of just pushed them along. I actually need to get one there. I actually need to move him down. So that'll, that'll probably be what I do here in a little while. Move him down. And then I need to breed at least two more villagers. Actually, one more. I'll breed one more, put him in there, because I don't believe he can be uh, like a 
like a worker because he's like what is they called knit knitwits I think knitwits all right that's pretty much that there's nothing over there there's a village that we got them from right across there but it's not really important because we've already took them all out of there I really need to get something planted right here this is bothering me on the last little server we had going uh we had an issue and this was I didn't even record it nothing and it wasn't OSMP it was a little server that we all had we had a very bad run-in with uh, the weather I might have some footage of that I don't know if I do I'll put it in here but it was a rough time I got some of your shit bro uh, just... so I decided to make a little wither trap this actually works I know that the hermit craft thing I know they said that their wither farmers are wither like trap thing didn't work I, I actually watched a video recently that it didn't work in this update but it 100% does so maybe, I don't know maybe if I don't know I, I have no idea but it works for me so what you'll do is you'll just put like you know soul sand right here pop your heads on and then the wither will stand straight up and its head gets stuck in here so you just whop away at its body that's how we've been getting our stuff so that's pretty much it though because I'm not going that's that's super easy to make like if you're on if you're if you don't want to deal with the crazy hecticness because the withers are awful they are just a pain in the butt um, some people might not like cheesing it like that but I'm not about to like lose a bunch of my stuff and get aggravated at the game for for something that little so I need to remove this too. A little odd and end things. The trees that you're seeing right here as well are going to be moved to the back because they're kind of a hassle right now because they hide creepers and stuff. I also want to show you, I'm very, very proud of my wife. My wife has played very little Minecraft in her day and she, she got that Minecraft bug, you know, playing with all of us kind of inspired her to broaden her, her horizons and get deeper in. So she made her first zombie farm the other day, and it is it is amazing. I helped a little bit. We I helped with troubleshooting. Uh, for some reason, the things didn't want to spawn because we had this all blocked off. So we put glass right here. So it's it's not like it's definitely not used for like XP, but we do get a lot of uh, rotten flesh, which we do have a data pack that changes our we could. You know smell a rotten flesh into leather and if you have any questions about any of the data packs that we have on here I do I used to have one player sleep but for some reason it doesn't work I don't know if it didn't transfer between the up like the upload uh, we're running uh, that we're running the cotton or the wool to string kind of thing uh, some other recipes as well but yeah this thing is very very nice like it just gives us a very nice steady supply, especially with the looting three sword. Just coming out here. How much we got? 18. Smack them. Pops it in there. Oh yeah, definitely. Super, super nice. Super proud of her. She's awesome. Uh, she's come a long way in a very short amount of time on here. But anyway, guys, this is Project Pro Project Arthelos. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you want to see more of this amazing journey that we're about to embark on, please leave a like and a comment down below. And as always, I'll see you guys later.